guys, this is check in one. Um, been doing a few things, cleaning the house. What is on my face? Oh, it's that's fall out. Um, I see. Just kind of, I just got dinner going. So I've been in there in the kitchen washing dishes and stuff and getting dinner in the oven and cooked on the stove. Um, makeup seems to be on it pretty good. Um, pull the mirror in so I can look. Um, I'm looking in my usual spots, which is around my nose, around my mouth, around my eyes. See if there's any kind of breakage. I don't see any. I've been sweating. I don't feel it on my forehead. I can't tell it on my forehead. Um, last night I was holding up pretty good. These baby hairs are getting on my nerves. <sighs> What do you do for them? Besides spray them down. And then you've got chemicals in your hair. Then you got to wash your hair more than twice a week. I don't know. Um, yeah. It seems to be cracking a little bit right on this side. Maybe just a hair on this side. Um, and then right in here. A little bit. Um, the lipstick. I hate the formula. I hate it. My lips are still. See how they're gathering? I've been drinking water. And it, the color's staying on pretty good. The color's about the same as it was. But they're like, they're, I don't like a sticky or a feel sticky type liquid lipstick. Um, the Ultra Cosmetic ones do not do that. They dry flat. Quit chewing on your collar. He's been awful today, you all. God. He's chewing on his dog tag. And he's not done that at all since we got it this year. He isn't talking about you, you little regret. I don't know what his problem is. But anyway, um, the mascara. Guys, I don't know if I like it either. Um, I don't want to be negative nailing. In this, but the eyebrow look I like. Okay, the eyebrow pencil I like. The blush I like. The eyeshadows actually I like. They blended out really well. They've not creased or anything like that, and that's without a primer. So I can imagine how pretty they would look with a primer. Um, the lipstick I don't like. The foundation is okay. It's not oxidized any more than what it was when I first got done filming. Um, it stayed the same oxid oxidation. As it was. I think I said that right. Um, I could probably tone that down myself. If I would just work with it a little bit more. Um, the lips. The lips is what's getting me guys. The lips. Honest, honest, honestly. The lips so far. Um, I just don't like the. I don't like the. The texture, it's just, it's a weird texture. Let's see, ingredients is what I'm going to look at. I didn't peel that all the way off, so let's see what it says for ingredients. Uh, apply thin layer of film, bare lips, wait until dry, remove with oil, base remover. Okay, I, my lips were clean and dry. Mm. I don't know. If you're allergic to red number seven, don't uh, don't get this shade because it's in it. Or yellow six, or yellow five, or red six, or red thirty thirty. You know, but people don't look at that kind of stuff, and then they have allergic reactions on their lips, and they don't can't figure out why. Because I didn't realize that either. Anyway, what I was saying, I'm, I know it's a drugstore, and I'm trying to think of what drugstore brand I've got. That would be comparable to this. It's not an, a brand that you would see in the store. Um, I don't know the lipsticks and stuff out here. That's what I was looking for. Um, ColourPop is a pretty reasonable one. And it doesn't dry sticky. This is in Yielded. It's a berry red. Um, Doe Foot, same thing. It dries matte, but it doesn't dry the sticky color. Um, I've got two... Laura Gallers, 
uh, one is in rhubarb crumble and one is in strawberry cream and they are a lipstick, a liquid lip lipstick and they don't dry that way either because I wore them. That's rhubarb crumble and this is strawberry, what did I say, strawberry, strawberry cream. Um, when they go on, they're kind of sticky, but when they dry, they're not. Uh, none of the NYX, none of the NYX lipsticks do this. Um, I've got six of them, and this one is Toasted Marshmallows. Toasted Marshmallow. This is one, it's pretty, it's pretty close to the color. Similar. Um, they, it, they dry down that. Even though it's an intense butter gloss is what this is. It does dry, and it has that sheen to it, but it's not the, you know, the sticky, the sticky, sticky. Um, Dose of Color is another one that's, it's not really cheap, but it's not really expensive either. And this is in the color, oh, this is the one I lost the color to. Um, but it's a more pretty mauve color. It's there on the index of my thumb. And it goes on like that, but then it dries, and it's not... Tacky. None of the Ofra lipsticks does this. None of the Jeffree Star lipsticks do this. The Tarte, uh, what is it, Tarte, Tardis Liquid Paint, none of them do this. Um, Starlux is one I've got. Uh, Jope, or Jelp, J-U-L-E-P. Um, this was from Ulta. This is Ooh La La. This is a brand from Ulta. It's a matte. It dries down matte. It's next to my pinky. And it doesn't, it doesn't stick. So the formula, I guess the whole review out of everything because everything else I'm okay with. I, I always crack right in here unless I blot and repowder and I have not done that. Um, and I've been sweating. So that's normal wear and tear on me even with any makeup from Marc Jacobs down to e.l.f. Okay. Um. So that's not, that's not an issue. The powder is fine. Uh, it's not cakey. I don't feel cakey. The blush is fine. It looks good. I like the color. Uh, the eyeshadow blended out. Like I said, with a prim eye primer instead of just foundation, it would be fine. The eye pencil, I absolutely love. Love, love, love. The concealer did not crease. Um, if I baked, it would probably be even better. The lipstick for me. Guys, the lipstick. But I'm going to wear it a little bit longer. Um, Josh gets up at 3 and it's 2.30. I've done this at 10.30. So 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30. So it's been off for four hours. I'm not going to take it off until Josh leaves to go to work, which is at 6.30. And then I'll clean my face and all that good stuff. And do my skincare at night. Um, I'm not going to reapply any kind of lipstick. Once it goes off, it's gone. If I don't end up taking it off on it by myself. Because every time I drink out of my cut, my lip gets stuck. And it doesn't come off, but it just sticks. It's just a sticky feeling, and I don't like the texture. It's the te it's a texture issue for me. I love the color. I don't like the formula. I like the the way it's made, the pro the amount of product that's in it. Um, the doe fits great. The packaging is wonderful. I don't like the formula. Um, it's tacky. It's just too tacky for me. The mascara, maybe if I'd have gotten the green one, which was the, this is the Ultra, Ultra Volume. What was the other one? Uh, Lengthening, I think it's the green one. Um, which I may end up getting it and trying it. Yet. It works. I mean, it, you know, there's been no fallout. There's been no crack, cakiness, crackiness, popping, that kind of thing. It, it's, it's done fine. So, other than that, you know, so far, it's okay. I will check back in, after, like I said, after dinner and before I remove my makeup and let you know my final, final, final thoughts. This is just so far. I'm going to go in and repowder, blot and repowder these areas around my T-zone, which is a normal occurrence. It could be. I didn't really use a primer. I used the blur stick and I used rose water. So that might be something I might need to change and try an actual primer. Um... 
but I am, like I said, I normally write in here, write in here, write in here. Um, I normally crease. So I'm going to blot, repowder, and that's all I'm going to do. And then I'll tell you in the next, um, fall, uh, the next, what is it called? <laughs> the next, um, I've lost my train of thought, guys. I am so sorry. My next review, my final and my final review on the Revlon face, what I think about it completely. Um, I still can't think of the word I was thinking about. Anyway, it just completely left my mind. Anyway, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. This is going to be the final test where overlook um, final thoughts on the Revlon products. Take my glasses off. I had to make sure you guys was in focus. Smokey. Get in the chair. He's been awful today. Maddie came over and it was like horrid. Horrid, horrid, horrid. Um, and then I got a small haul for y'all and to tell y'all something. Okay. Um, I, the last view, the last, the last, see, I lost words again. Let me try this again. This, when I, I done it first and I told you my initial thoughts and then I did a second thought. This is my final thought. On the Revlon um, Color Stay Makeup combination, and I got the combination oily because I do have some oily areas and then I have some dry areas. Um, SPF 15 and it's in 110, which is ivory. Um, powder Stay and ivory. Um, not just nude Revlon kit. I like this. Blended out really well with no eye primer. I just put foundation on. The blush was beautiful. I still like it. Um, I like the mascara to a point. I'm still mm, on the fence with it. I like the eyebrow for sure. I definitely like the eyebrow pencil. I like the um, texture of it, the smoothness. I just wish I'd have went maybe, I think if I just go a little bit heavier on my eyes, on my eyebrows, I can go darker. That's what I think. Um, I like the concealer. This one I want to try, the green one and the blue one for sure. Um, this is definitely still a Mm -mm. Ain't happening. Um, this is their Revlon Color Stay Ultimate. And it's in Ironic. Um, it's wore off. This is the cup I've been drinking out of all day. And it's wore off a little bit, which Maddie wiped it off when she got me some more water. And then I've ate. The color is still there. But my lips are still sticky. And I don't like the formula. I just don't like the formula. Guys, I don't know what it is. It, dry, it dries matte, which is fine with me. I like matte colors. It's a beautiful color. It's a horrible, a horrible swatch. Let me see if I can straighten it out for you. Make it look prettier. Um, I just, I don't like, it's not necessarily the formula, I don't think, as much as it is the texture I don't like. It dries down matte. You can feel it getting dry. I feel it already drying on my skin. Um, it's a beautiful color. Absolutely gorgeous. I liked it when I put it on and it started drying and I felt it and I knew what was happening. I knew it was going to get tacky and I knew it was going to be sticky the whole entire day. Now, today I have swept the kitchen. I have cleaned the windows in front of the living room and the door window outside and in. I wash dishes, I've cooked dinner, um, I've cleaned all of my makeup brushes. They were all dirty. I cleaned all of them. All of my makeup brushes are now clean. Um, I've played with Smokey, I've done some stuff on the works, I've done some work on the computer. Um, so I mean, the makeup for what it's worth is stayed. When I done the second review of it, it had cracked here, nose, and corner. And I said I was going to blot that and repowder it. I did do that. And, guys, it's back. Cracked again, which, um, it always cracks, like, right in here, right in here, and right in here. Always. It has not oxidized it any more than it did in the beginning. Which, like I said, I could have worked with that a little bit more and got it down. It has broke loose on my nose, I see. 
it's starting to crack on my nose. Um, eyeshadow has not cracked at all. It looks really pretty. So, overall, I think uh, Revlon's got a pretty good, I mean, for the, I have never wore Revlon. I was sitting in there thinking back to when I wore makeup in high school and um, after when I first got married and I went there for a long time without wearing makeup. And I kept thinking, you know, what products would I have wore that was Revlon? And I kept thinking and I kept thinking, and I can't come up with any. None. Um, and it's the same with the next uh, full face that I'm going to be doing um, tutorial with it. I just, I cannot think of any product I've ever used in the Revlon line. Um, I didn't have a contour kit for Revlon. I didn't have a highlight kit for Revlon. And I didn't have um, an eyeliner kit for Revlon, or an eyeliner. So I used Rimmel in my waterline. I used uh, Hoola for contour and... Physicians Formula for bronzing and Wet n Wild for no, I use Wet n Wild for contouring also. So I use Physicians Formula, Wet n Wild, and um, I don't know if I put everything away. And highlight was uh, Wet n Wild, so that way it was a little easier for everybody to get their hands on it. I'm gonna tie you up outside and let the bears eat you tonight. Terrible twos, I'm telling you all. Um. Next thing, on my and I brought my phone in here with me actually. On my phone, I found an app, and I found it on Instagram, and it is called Mirror C. It is M E R C A R I, and they have anything and everything you can think of. Okay, so I've ordered a couple of things off there. My Marc Jacobs foundation come off there. Um, it's the glided one. Mark Jacobs Genius Gel is what it's called. Supercharged Genius Gel. Pick them up there. It was $28. This stuff's like 60 bucks. Then today, uh, before I had my chest paint incident on Friday, I was on there shopping and I found the Mark Jacobs uh, contour kit. He's rolling around cutting a rusty like he's gotten a bath or something. He's just rolling. I don't know. He's, he's losing it. This retails for $40. It's the contour kit. Um, and it is in Hi-Fi Filter. Gorgeous packaging. I love I love it. Um, you have to push this in because it snaps. So you push this in. And it opens. Look at that mirror. Yeah, I see my ring light, my desk, camera. Okay. And then it's got this plastic thing here. This is Mark Jacobs. And you take that off and then look. And that is so buttery. So creamy. So silky. Blends like a dream. This is the dark that I'm doing first. Which I can contour with the dark. Because I've done figure this out. And then with this one, I can bronze. Look at that. There we go. I'm going to start doing it down here on my arm or something. But Maddie brought it over to me. Maddie said, I'm bringing it in your mail. I said, okay. She said, you got two packages down here. And I didn't expect it this quick. So I was really, really, really thrilled with that. And then, um, there is a shape contour and blush brush, and it's so separately, but I don't need it. I got enough of brushes. I mean, if you want it because it's Marc Jacobs, then that's fine. But anyway, the girl I bought it from was really sweet. She's a nurse, and uh, she sent me this really nice card, and um, it has a little card on it. And then you open it up, and it looks like that. And you pull it out, and it says, Thanks for shopping. I hope you enjoy your free gifts, Rachel. And it's a cute little note card, but 
I texted her later at night and told her, yes, I still wanted it, but I ended up in the hospital with chest pains, and I'd have to finish the order the next day. And she said, that's fine, finish it. So with my Marc Jacobs contour kit, because I, I got two things from her, um, she sent me a brand new, number seven, Excravid Excravaganda Volume Mascara. And it is in the color black. I have been wanting to try the products from number seven. They're sold at Target. But I have not. At Target and Kingsport, every time I've been, it's been a rat race trying to get into the makeup section. And there's always kids around and parents screaming at their kids. And I don't have kids. So I guess it's just. I can take them for a while, but then. I have. Today I'm not feeling too good. Yesterday I wasn't feeling too good, but Maddie came over both days, and this is June the 12th, and I just, I'm not, I can take her for so long. I can take any kid for so long, and then I'm just like, you got, you need to go home. You know, I love you, but go home. The other thing I ordered from her was Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation, and it is in the color of porcelain, brand new. And it was, and I paid shipping on both of these. If you combined, if I could have combined them, which I was on my way to the hospital when she was asking me about combining them. And I just went ahead and bought them both, just purchased them both and forgot it because, um, like I said, I was on my way to the emergency room with chest pain. Uh, this was $16 plus $4 shipping and handling, so it was $20 is what I got this for. And I don't know exactly how much this retails for because I've not looked it up. But I'm sure it's expensive. Um, well, it's black and the rose gold. And it says porcelain. Brand new. Never been used. She said she swatched it was off. I can't wait to try it. It comes with the ingredients. But I've always wanted to try it and I've always thought, I don't know if I can afford that, you know, because it's high end. So I just, I mean, it's a good site to look at stuff, especially high end stuff. That's where I've gotten, well, that's not where I've gotten my, um, I didn't get my Too Faced Born This Way from there. I got my Too Faced Born This Way from, um, Poshmark is where I got it from. And it's, it's similar to Poshmark, except with Mercy, um, it's quicker processing. It's quicker turnout. You get it quicker. Like, this was supposed to be in here in like 7 to 10 business days. I got it in 3. This one's supposed to be here until Friday. And I got it today. So, for some reason, it's quicker. I was going to look at the Anastasia and see how much it is on Ulta website real quick. Um, I also got free gifts with my Anastasia. She sent me a developed tan hand and nail cream with vitamin D3 and keratin. I mean, it's a sample size, but it's perfect for your purse. It's got sheer but shea butter and coconut oil cream. So, I haven't even smelled of it. Oh my gosh. It sounds like you took a coconut and just put it in there. Okay, I'm on Ulta's website. Let's shop. And shop by brand, because it's the quickest. Let's do Anastasia of Beverly Hills. And let's do the stick foundation. It's $25. $25. And it comes in 30 shades. And then the Marc Jacob. Um, more take it. Let's do the this first. I think this is sixty. I'm almost positive this is sixty. I sent it somewhere for sixty. Well, first of all, we got all the clones. He's got some wonderful clones. Daisy is my favorite. That's all it's showing. It's his clones and lotions. It's not showing his products, his face products. I'm almost sure those that was, that was 60 and then the contour kit was 40. 
Um, and then with the other the other thing she sent me, because she sent me two with this, with Anastasia, she sent me two, and she sent me um, Ma B Bills Be Pay. It's by the Bomb Girls lipstick. It's a lipstick. It's like James Bond, but it's James Bomb. And Mama Bills Be Pay starring. It's a it's like a little cartoon type thing. So let's see what color it's like. She said this was brand new. She hadn't even used it yet. I love the packaging. It looks almost like a MAC, but MAC's black. MAC's black like this. It has MAC wrote on it and it's silver line. Silver. Oh, it's a brownie color. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. I like that. That's pretty. I like that. It's got all the ingredients and stuff on the inside of the package. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'm going to take my makeup off. I, I've got another tutorial coming up. Um, it'll be in July when you guys see this. And you'll see the haul before you see the tutorial. That's the way I've got it set to go up. I will be testing this out. I will be testing this out. I'll be testing this out. I've done use this. I did not do a film. I did not film it, but I did use it. And I loved it. And this, I said this with Elf. Onion foundation. I said it with Elf, so you don't have to um, necessarily buy like foundation and powder all together. I just did it because I wanted to do a first impressions. That was my main goal. So anyway, there not wherever you are, be safe, be careful. If you have not subscribed, consider cons subscribing. Um, I do hauls, I do tutorials, I do rambles, um, I do life stories. I tell you, shenanigans, Smokey and Maddie's gotten into. Lord knows they get into all kinds. Um, let's see. Hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed. Uh, there is a giveaway in July. We've wrecked your hundred, so there will be a giveaway. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, and you're automatically entered. That's it. I don't ask you to follow me on Snapchat. I don't ask you to follow me on Twitter. I don't ask you to follow me on Instagram. But all that information is listed in my description on all of my videos, uh, along with my email address and my mailing address. Um, if you want to be notified when I put up a video, just hit the little bell. It's a little silver box and it's got a little bell in it. Um, but I do upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 a.m. My videos are up and ready to go. I'm working on next week's video already to be scheduled to go up. So it'll go up and be ready to go. And other than that, you all have a good day or night wherever you are. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for sticking out. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I had a subscriber last night that subscribed that made it 108. And she is from Indonesia. And I had looked on her website, on her, on her YouTube channel because she asked me to, she said, I subscribe to your channel. Would you look at mine and subscribe back? So I looked at hers and I, I subscribed. Because I think a subscribe for a subscribe is, is fair. Um, and I couldn't find any word where it says where she's from. And the way she, the comment was told me it wasn't in America. And I said, thanks for joining, you know, my channel. Welcome. Um, if you don't mind me asking, where are you from? And she commented back and she said, I'm in Indonesia. And I was like, wow, that's cool. So, I got to looking at the map today on my, on my analysis. I've got two from Russia that I did not know I had. One from Indonesia. Um, I've got one from... Um, oh, what was that little place called? It's just a little... like Croatia, I think, was the other one. And then all kinds of places, United States spread right out. Um, but I thought that was neat that I can get on there now because YouTube has changed a little bit and I can get on there now and actually see where my subscribers are from without asking them. I mean, it doesn't point and like pinpoint where every subscriber lives, but it gives you a blowed out look on where it's at. Plus, to clarify again, it says in my video in the description, not a sponsored video. All these products I bought, okay? Um, I've also got a video going up next week which will be, you guys have done seen it, uh, and I give you all a code, um, 
for a free leafy if you join a, a, a monthly subscription club. That is not, you know, um, a collab or a um, paid thing. I done it. They gave it to me, and I decided to give it to you all um, because I got the four because I took because somebody else had it and I seen it on their YouTube or on their YouTube channel and I went and done it and used their code. So I just, you know, pay it forward. That's how I am. Like I went through McDonald's or I went through Hardee's. Um, and the person in front of me has paid for my food or my drink or what I mean, I go ahead and pay for their food or their drink or whatever they got. They pay it forward. I mean, it's just as simple as that. Um, I've been in the grocery store. Okay guys. And this happened back during Thanksgiving, Christmas time. Um, first of the month. So it's probably December. Um, I was in line and I, you know, just get paid every two weeks. So I have, I grocery shop for every two weeks. Um, and it was on a Friday and it was first of the month. And there was a woman and her kids in front of me. And... Uh, of course, she had food stamps, which there's, you know, if you need it, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, she had WIC. If you need it, there's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, she was 15. It was under 20 bucks. And she was putting back, like, uh, fruit, fresh fruit. She was putting, because she didn't have enough on her food stamp card. And she had a pretty good size veggie full, and it wasn't junk food. Um, it was like cereals and box dinners and meats and, um, canned food. But she was putting back the fresh stuff, like fresh fruit and fresh vegetables and, um, cereal. And her son was begging for a box of donuts. At, now, this was at the local food city. And her son was absolutely going bananas. Mom, please, I want them donuts. I haven't asked for nothing and I've been so good. And I was standing in line, and I had, you know, had my groceries there, and I was, I had done food. Food City is so weird. You put the buggy, and then you walk around, and the cashier, the cashier rings it up, but you're over on this side, but you have to put your buggy in first. So I had done walk around, and I had heard what was going on, and I was like, okay. And I looked at the cashier, who I have known all my life, probably since she worked at Piggly Wiggly, when, it, when she first started Piggly Wiggly. Um... I asked her what the problem was, and she said she doesn't have enough money on her food stamps. Uh, and she's digging through, trying to, you know, get rid of stuff. And I had looked over, and it was like grapes, apples, uh, a bag of potatoes, um, you know, fruits and vegetables. And a ga one gallon of milk, um, a loaf of bread. I mean, it was, it was stuff that kids need. Fruits and vegetables, hey, when I was a kid, and even now, I can eat a plate of just vegetables, and I'm fine. I don't have to have meat. And I said, Kim, go ahead and ring it up, and let her take off what it'll take off of her card, and I'll take care of the rest. So I just handed her my debit card over the, re over the register to her. And... Uh, she said, okay, you're ready to go. And she bagged it up and put it back in the buggy. And she said, I can't pay for that stuff. And the cashier said, it's took care of. And she had, she seen her handing me my car back in the receipt. And I just handed her the receipt because it was the whole receipt. It wasn't just my part. It was the whole receipt. And I just, in my checkbook, just wrote down real quick, you know, exactly how much it was. It was like, it was under 20 bucks. And she was crying. I mean, she had a child on her hip. Uh, probably a two or three year old begging for those donuts and um, she said I don't know how to pay you back I don't know how to find you to pay you back I said I don't want you to pay me back feed your children that's all I want take care of your kids and feed your children and you know I said you have a good day and God bless you um, she went out at the store. Well, I went ahead and checked out, and they had strawberries. Buy one, get one free. We eat stra fresh strawberries, but we don't eat enough. So as I was going out the door, after Kim, the cashier, um, fussed at me a little bit for doing that, um, which, you know, it wasn't that she was fussing. It was just she said some people will take advantage if they see you doing that. And I, I agree. I totally agree with that. 
Um, but as I was going out the door, there was a woman standing there, and she said, Oh, I didn't see them strawberries over there. She had done check out, and I just picked it up out of my buggy, out of my bag, and just set a thing over her, and I said, You have a blessed day. And I walked out of the store. So she had her strawberries. I come home, and I told Josh, you know, the strawberries was probably won't get one free, but I said, I gave her free one to another customer that was checking out that said, oh, I didn't see them when I walked in because they were, you know, on a little side thing when you first walked in. But, um, I just believe in that. I believe in paying it forward. So that, basically the story, what, the point of the story is, I gave you, I'll, giving you all code for the Kiss Me and the Morphe, um, I forgot what the other one's called. It's Perfume. I forgot the actual name of it. But it's Live Glam. And you'll you know, if you've watched this video, then you should have done seeing the um, unboxing of the other two. So anyway, day or not, wherever you are, be safe, be careful. We're getting ready to get a thunderstorm. So I'm going to go get my makeup took off and get uh, my face done and cleaned and all that good stuff before it gets here. Because I have a feeling pair may go out. Because they've done said high winds, damaging hail, uh, uh, light, cloud to ground lightning, and I'll show for it tonight. Yay me. So I think that might be another reason why the pup's been acting kind of wacky today. He's not normally this way. So I'm going to go. Thank you once again. I love each and every one of you. I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.